for question number two. We're also interested in the sum of the first seven terms. And our a, the first term is three. What about r? r will be equivalent to negative six over three, which is negative two. I could have picked also the 12 divided by negative six. I'll also get negative two that way. And again, I want to know s7, the sum of the first seven terms. So here we're going to have three times one minus negative two to the power. Now it's always very nice to put brackets around r, especially if it's negative. And we have it to the power of seven all over one minus negative two. Great, so we're gonna get three times one minus. Now two to the power of seven is 128. And note that we have negative two to the seven, so that's gonna come out as a negative number. Just because seven's odd. Let me make a straighter line here <laughs> for the fraction. There we go. All over one plus two. Why is it plus? Because negative negative or minus negative make a positive. One plus two, three. So these threes are gonna cancel out. So we end up with one plus one twenty eight, because again, minus a negative makes a plus. And one plus one twenty eight is hundred and twenty nine, which is the sum of the first seven terms. And we're done. We found both sums. Now I strongly advise that you try several questions like this so you become comfortable with the formula. I'm not suggesting you uh, skip your Saturday night plans or anything like that, but uh, try them out. And we have quite a few questions on our website right here. Good luck.